minor scale with a raised seven. That's harmonic minor. So if we did A harmonic minor, that's what we want right there. Yeah. Yep. That's a really cool one. Uh, and so melodic minor is um, with a raised seven and a raised six. Here's actually the way I look at it. Uh, I look at it like the like harmonic minor is Aeolian, the natural minor, Aeolian with a raised seven. Melodic minor is Dorian with a raised seven. All right, are you familiar with your modes? Uh, yeah. Dorian is like natural minor, but with, um, but with, uh, a raised sixth. So here's our natural minor. Dorian. It's like that with a raised 13. sound a lot in like a blues because that's our Dorian right there cool so if we do natural minor and raise the seven it's harmonic minor if we do Dorian and raise the seven it's melodic minor At least I'll think of them in different ways. Like for example, the first way people usually think of these things, the way I certainly did, was like if I was playing an A minor, even if it's natural minor, say, you know, or like you hear a riff. Like that, you know, and I was gonna take a solo. The way you would think about like if I want to do my pentatonic. Whatever the person may do, you can take the same kind of cliches. You know? And do your Yingbei repertoire. And you can mix them together. So if you got one pattern of, of harmonic minor. got your your pentatonic scale maybe with the blues note you know then you can interchange between oh i added the major third so anyway so i can then i can think like that where i'm switching between two patterns and then I could think, well, melodic minor is just my blues, you know, with because blues is ordinarily kind of Dorian anyway. So I'd be, it's certainly not an Aeolian. So I'd be playing like if I did a blues. And this note is the 13, which proves or demonstrates that we're playing in Dorian. So if I'm then playing in a blues with Dorian feel, Then I can add my major seven. And now I'm doing melodic minor. And the only difference really then between melodic minor and harmonic minor is the sixth. If I go or 
that's harmonic minor. You can get this very natural minor with that note, which suddenly becomes um, harmonic minor. So then it's like, then I would solo, like, let's say I've got that kind of riff. This is a Black Sabbath tune, by the way. Yeah. It's a good song. I mean, it's a cool riff, very heavy. So maybe I'll play it like a... And then maybe I'll think, oh, you know what? I want to get something a little interesting. I've been doing the blues the whole time. So maybe I'll go and bend up to the root and then to major seven. And then from the 13 up to the flat seven. And then maybe I want to end the phrase. Well, with doing that, I was thinking, oh, I'm in my blues. I'm going to go to a melodic minor or harmonic. It doesn't really matter. And then definitely melodic because I'm going to bend from the 13, which means Dorian. You know, if you wanted to keep going, you could bend to Dorian from, from, excuse me, I'm saying bend to Dorian from Aeolian, but really what I'm doing, if I'm thinking within the context of melodic minor and harmonic minor, I'd be bending from uh, melo harmonic minor to melodic minor, but it's just, you see, they're just so, there's only like one note difference to these things. And so, I, exactly, yeah, the sixth, the sixth is the difference between harmonic and melodic minor. The seventh is the difference between melodic minor and Dorian, or between harmonic minor and Aeolian. But all of these are minor scales. They're all minor modes, uh, at least, like Dorian is a minor mode of, of the scale. And so basically they'll all apply because they have the same chord tones with the exception of the seventh. But the seventh is borderline scale tone anyway. If you ask people, the officially will say it's a chord tone. But in certain contexts, it definitely doesn't sound like a chord tone. Like if you're in country or you hear it in blues, people hear a seventh of any kind. Well, maybe not blues, they hear a flat seventh and they're pretty consonant to their ear. But it basically comes down to their taste then. Like, and I don't mean whether like they like it or they don't per se, but whether they've developed an ear for it, whether they can recognize the seventh as a chord tone. Um, and in some genres, it's so like never done that it almost isn't the genre anymore when you do it. Um, you know what I mean? Like country music, for example, when you have a major seven chord, it's done like Willie Nelson did it. But when you hear it, you go, oh, there's a little jazz in there. They don't think, well, no, it's country that's just got a seventh in it. You know what I mean? They, it's not really jazz either. You know what I mean? It's, but that's just the way people think. So the point is like, you're, you, you will either get somebody who goes, oh, there's a little jazz in there. Or you'll get a guy who goes, little wrong notes in there, you know? Both of them are kind of wrong. One of them is really wrong.